Hi, my name is Lynn Austin. I'm here in Idaho on my property on the beautiful Snake River. I used to envision my life as a mirror looking back to me, exactly what I saw. Now it's a prism of light illuminating the angles and colors of endless possibilities. About 15 years ago, I had a series of events that changed my life and I'd like to share a couple of those with you so that you understand where I'm coming from. Um, one day I was at work and I got a bellyache and I went to the doctor at night because I was in so much pain and I was told that I had a kidney stone and sent home to let it pass. Four days later, I was rushed to emergency with a bowel obstruction. It had burst and filled all of my vital organs with gangrene. They told me on my way to surgery, they did not expect me to live. And at that minute, I thought, I don't care if I live, I just wanna be out of this pain. While I was in surgery, I actually died for a few minutes. And I went to the other side, which is a story in itself. But I wanted to share one part of that message that I learned there with you, and that is that we all have a mission here, whether it's short or long, and that each one of us can do something with our time here. I learned that if I am judged at all, it's only to about my service to my fellow man. And it freed me, it freed me to be the person that I have become since then. I was given the choice to come back. They told me that I could come back and fix a few things in my life, or I could uh, stay with them. I was also told that everybody doesn't get that chance. That for many, many people, it is simply their time to go. And so I chose to come back for two reasons. One was for my family, and the other was because I knew that I had a chance to heal the world with my words. And so I wanted to come back to do that. I recovered after about a year. And then one day, my husband of 25 years was killed in an accident. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that we were just getting to the good part, the fun part of our lives. Our kids were all getting onto their own. None of them were married yet, but they were in college and, and moving on with their lives. And I thought, what is more important for him in another realm than this one? Because I had fought so hard to come back. I was angry for a long time and one day I read a book called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay and it changed my life. I read one sentence and it said, your thoughts create your future and it just grabbed my heart and I thought, my thoughts are creating my future, then I'm going to have one hell of a future if I don't do something and fix this and what? What am I doing for my children by being this negative and this down all the time? And so I decided that I must change and that I had to learn how to grow. I'd been writing for years and years and I thought that maybe if I dove into my writing and really came to it, I would get the help I needed. And I have been asking women worldwide this qu these questions, well, locally, these questions about what their thought processes were and all these different questions, 22 questions that I had wanted to ask women for a long time. I decided to expand that and travel the world. So I became a guest lecturer on cruise ships. And then I was able to open my heart and meet a wonderful man and with his international work we've been able to travel the entire world finding these wonderful people that I could survey of all races, religions, ethnic backgrounds, educational backgrounds and I've asked all of these women the same 22 questions and Prism of Light is about those questions what they have learned through their lives and what they are learning ages from 18 to 88 so there is a wide expand and I think that with sympathy with 
empathy, with compassion and understanding of other people, we will heal the world one person at a time. And so I'm very passionate about this. I've spent the last 10, 11 years doing these surveys worldwide, and I think that you will learn too about them. Thank you, Hay House, for giving me this great opportunity. I appreciate it.